so um in this video i'm gonna be discussing something that i have went through that i'm um personally disappointed in um i don't know what happened but i'm noticing that a lot of youtubers are going through the same thing um for these past months that's um that has gone by so as you can see from the title it is google Assets disables account right um from invalid traffic now a lot of y'all are probably concerned if y'all are um getting this and you want to know why you're getting this right so i'm here to explain that um, I personally made a new page. This is my new page. So before we get started into this, um, this is my page, you know, and um, I have 7,000 subscribers, um, you know, channel got viewed, you know, everything is kind of legit. You know, I have, you know, 420, one, you know, 2,000, 4,000. 1k like you know it's going normal and then you wake up one morning and you see that your account got disabled for invalid traffic so um the first thing i did was <clears throat> i went to this page and i went to look at what was so strange and if you just click um traffic you're gonna see your traffic right and then from traffic oh, hold on let me go back I'm sorry so you're gonna to want to click traffic traffic source and then from traffic source you see everything as you can see YouTube advertising um, YouTube search channel page people seeing it external from my understanding everybody is talking about the external um link is the one that's causing this problem and when i click it some people are saying that they have um their channel listed on a website right well how do we have control of where our channel goes someone could copy it paste it somewhere you know it is not necessarily you doing that so I don't understand how all these youtubers are getting penalized especially me getting penalized for something that I have nothing to do with so as you can see here it says Google search you know 7-eleven Facebook Instagram Google whatsapp um, Yahoo search Chrome you know all the good stuff then you go down here um vidiq.com um you see duckduckgo.com i don't know what is duckduckgo.com um another one is uh com oprah browser i don't know what that i don't know what any of these things are so i don't have control of these things but supposedly my page got disabled due to this and uh you know i find it kind of disappointing because one i don't even get notified i get um triggered as i'm doing something wrong not as you know google's gonna look into the matters and find out what's going on they automatically assume you have something to do with it um, but you know they disabled it and um, you know now I'm not even able to be monetized um, but there is a way um, to appeal it so that's what I'm gonna talk about today um, before we talk about this let's talk about invalid traffic invalid traffic could be multiple things um, most common one is you clicking your own ads 
um, on your channel, which I didn't do, but you know, you could by accident click your own ads. But I feel like you'll probably have to do that excessively in order to basically get penalized, penalized because you could do it by mistake by checking your page or checking if you gotta fix something. But I don't see it as as soon as you click it, you will get penalized. But I'm not sure how um, that policy goes. But that is one way where they disable your account. The other one is where you have multiple clicks from an individual. So this could be a bot. This could be your competitor. This could be someone that's hating on your page. And um, they are clicking the ads multiple times. And that gets your um, channel disabled. Now again, those things are obviously out of hand. Now if you're doing it intentionally, because uh, I did write on one person saying that there's ways where like, I don't know, you buy things from third parties um and they could potentially be doing that um and that harms your channel so if you are potential if you are doing it intentionally then that's why your channel got um disabled but if you're not it's still like a lose-lose situation because someone could just be out there hating on your page and do this to your page and now you got to pay the consequences um but you can appeal it um if everything looks right like me like i did make this new channel um as y'all know famous safe moon um i'm big with safe moon but like it's not like i'm gonna just talk about safe moon on the channel i'll talk about you know um mining crypto or anything that y'all may want me to discuss anything that y'all feel interesting just leave a comment below and um, i will make a video of it you know um i am a youtuber and I'm here for y'all. So if you have any questions, you know, also feel free to comment below. If you are going through this, comment below. Um, because, you know, obviously we are a community. And basically we are supposed to help each other. Um, I don't feel like this, the whole competition thing. You know, we all want to grow. We all want to be successful. So, you know, if you having any trouble, feel free to contact me. Um, I will leave my Instagram below. And like I said, you could just leave a comment um, and we could, you know, um, communicate through there. Uh, but yeah, this is a new channel. And even so, I'm going to appeal and I'm sure like I'm not worried if um, that I'm going to win it because like I said, I've done nothing wrong. But I guess it just um, motivated me to make another channel and obviously grow this channel also because if you have two channels that's growing and two incomes then why not um have that so i did put the other channel on on pause any videos that i may have um as a premiere over there i'm going to be switching it and putting it on this channel due to obviously uh google was not paying me so why would i have it on there when I can have it on a channel that actually is going to grow and get me somewhere but um so yeah so let's go to the appeal form so the appeal form is you know you enter your name um you enter your publish code which I hope y'all know um through the email that y'all got it's going to show you your pub um your publisher code so you just copy that and paste it right here then you um the contact email address the email that you want them to contact you by um your example url id where you place your ads it's um obviously your channel your youtube channel so just copy and paste your youtube channel if you don't know how to get to your youtube channel it's very very easy um you could just go to your page. Uh, you go to your channel. You go to your channel. Copy the link. Um, I know you I can't see mine, but you know it's on the web browser. You copy that link and you will paste it onto here. Okay. Um, then it says where you intend to place the ads. 
should be active I believe that's also your YouTube channel so uh, we place that there too now here is a big uh, question like I said um, unfortunately if you are one of those people that probably has purchased um, I wouldn't feel it'd be best for you to you know say yes to this because you, technically you're not supposed to be doing that so you know it says have you ever purchased traffic on your site um, you want to you know mark no when you mark no there it's going to ask you how um, do you promote your content I promote my content through Google Ads so you know that's why I feel like I'm not too much in a, a jam um, because like I said uh, I don't know if I could show y'all but I believe I could show y'all um, you know basically where like I said it shows that I have used um, Google Ads to you know um, build my channel and it shows it right here YouTube advertising you know so like I'm not understanding you know why that's what I do I promote like I'm doing it the right way so you know um, you want to put you know Google Ads you use Google Ads right how do you promote it but I also uh, put my my videos on YouTube I mean on Facebook Instagram Twitter I put it on all those things so you know you will put that also if you do that and then it says have your channel YouTube channel ever been violated um, if this is the first time obviously you put no um, this is the first time this has ever um, happened to me so you know you write that with no problem um, and it says what was the reason for invalid activity on your site so here like I, like I told you you could just explain yourself um, from my knowledge from what I'm seeing the best thing to do is just state that you was in the wrong so you want to say hey you know um, I um, you know unwillingly uh, clicked on my um, my ads um, and I you know it won't happen again uh, you know and then they're gonna ask you um, you know uh, what would you what, what would you um, do to improve that you make sure that doesn't happen again so you know you could say because there are programs out there because um, basically you're technically like a manager for your channel so you are supposed to keep up to date and make sure all security risks are um, applied so that way you don't go through this unfortunately I didn't do it um, now I will do it and I will uh, be extra hard on making sure that this doesn't happen again so you know you want to say hey you know um, I will get programs that will prevent fr from this happening again um, then it states you know uh, Google traffic report and stuff like that suspicious ID ah suspicious ID um, then it says uh, suspicious ID this is the first time this ever happened to me so I wasn't up to date or paying attention to suspicious IP addresses or anything like that so you know you just write that down because this is the if this is the first time this happens to you so you write that down hey you know this is the first time this has ever happened to me no I don't have no records of uh, suspicious IP addresses unfortunately um, then you know you obviously check that and then you hit submit now the one thing I will tell you uh, I don't know if you have I'm sure you haven't done this yet so if you're going to do this just try to give it time um, don't do it right away so if you you know found out that your page got disabled today try to give it a little bit of time because you want to make sure that you are giving time so Google could see that you are trying to uh, make those improvements because if you do it right away submit it right away then they're gonna just see it as you're just submitting this and you didn't try to fix the situation so try to give it like about five days and then um, submit your um, appeal application um, I do hope this helped y'all if it did please you know smash that like button um, you know comment below 
and subscribe this is a new channel and like i said um i'm here for y'all so anything any videos y'all would like to you know see or know about just write them on the, on the comments below um if you want more comment um videos with you know google situations i get monetized and stuff like that you could write that um on the comments below also so you know i hope um this video was very helpful to y'all and i will catch y'all on the next one peace